Today I'm going to show you how you can make homemade Mod Posh, but I'm also going to answer the question, does it work and is it worth it? So we're going to get right at it. I'm going to show you the recipe and I'm going to let you know how it worked for me. Okay, let's get started. Today I'm going to show you how you can make homemade Mod Posh. And you can also make a homemade Mod Posh with glossy or a matte finish or semi-gloss. I'm gonna show you how you can do that. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need some Elmer's school glue, some measuring cups, um, a tablespoon, and you're also gonna need some um, polyacrylic sealer. Now you wanna make sure that you have some airtight containers and this will last a long time for you once you make it up. Um, you just gotta make sure that they have a good seal on them. I got these little ones at the dollar store. I think they came in a pack of three and they're really handy for, uh, cause I don't wanna make a great big container of it. So this is a nice size. The first one that we're gonna make is just the regular homemade Mod Podge. Elmer school glue, any type of school glue um, will work. You can pick it up at the dollar store or um, the no name brand works good too. And I like to do two to one. So we're gonna do two parts glue to one part water. I'm just gonna pour that in there. Use my little spoon to scrape it out. And then we're gonna put in a quarter of a cup of water. And I'll see if I can do this without spilling. No, yeah, it's spilling. There we go. And then you're just gonna put the lid on. Shake, shake really well. Incorporate that water and that glue together. And you have homemade Mod Podge. That's it. That is it to making homemade Mod Podge. Now you can adjust the water either way for your projects um, and it won't, change how it works too much. If you're finding it, it's a little bit too thin for the project that you're working on, add a little bit of glue. You can be flexible with it and um, it works really well and it's affordable. So the next one I'm gonna show you is the um, glossy or matte. And what it does is it just will give your Mod Podge, your homemade Mod Podge, a bit of a sheen to it. When you're just using the glue in the water, it's just a flat, dries flat where if you can add some a little bit of polyacrylic sealer, it will give it a little bit more of a sheen on your project. Just depends on what you're trying to go for. Same mixture again, we're doing the school glue for half a cup. We're gonna put in a quarter of a cup of the water. And I'll see if I can spill it all over again. I guess I should have grabbed something that had a spout on it to make it pour easier. There we go. And then you wanna add in two tablespoons of your polyacrylic sealer. And again, it depends on the project that you're working on, what kind of a sheen you want on it. This that I have right here is satin, so it's just gonna have a nice satin finish to it. But if you want something glossier, then use a glossy. Um, polyacrylic sealer. We're going to put the lid on, shake it up really well, and that's it to your homemade Mod Podge. And I'm just going to show you a project that I did with my homemade Mod Podge. This is just a tin can that I spray painted white, and then I just tore up some paper towel and decoupaged it onto the tin with my homemade Mod Podge and then painted it and it gave it a really lovely texture, worked really well and it's a lot cheaper than buying the Mod Podge. Okay, so after testing both of the homemade Mod Podge on different projects and comparing them to the Botten Mod Podge, um, there's really no comparison. If you uh, have want to have a much better quality for your crafts that you're making, make sure you just buy the Mod Podge because it does have a better result. If you're just doing projects with your kids and decoupaging, works perfect. And bigger projects um, that would cost a lot of money if you had to buy it, a bunch of Mod Podge, it works perfect for that too because it is more affordable. But the end result and the end quality, you can't beat a good bottle of Mod Podge. And the other thing with this um, homemade is it does not do the reverse graphic transfer method. 
it does not work for that. So, and that's what I mainly use my Mod Podge for, is to make my signs and do the reverse technique. So, I have my Mod Podge if I have a little decopause project that I want to do. I have it tucked away and I'll pull it out and use it for that. But when I want to make something that I'm selling or something that I want a really good quality finish on, I just use my Mod Podge. So I hope this answered some questions for you, whether you're on the fence to do one or the other and, um, and it's helped you out. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.